I want to ask you about Dillian White, as I'm sure you would have expected, although probably not in great detail, but what, what did you make of the performance against Povetkin and, and the ending, I suppose? I know there was that little thing on Twitter, Dominic Ingle said something about just how do you avoid that shot, and you said, come down to gym, son, I'll show you, which I thought was pretty funny. What, what did you make of the fight overall? Well, you know, he was winning, wasn't he? He was, uh, he was a dominator, but I'd like to have been, I'd like to have seen him uh, been the aggressor as well as the dominator. It was a dominator, but Alexander Povetkin from our from our very very first press conference we did back in Manchester, I believe, uh, probably six months ago, I did say to everybody, Alexander Povetkin can smell what you're gonna do. Because them experienced guys that at the amateur pedigree, and and, and and an Olympian, I think he, you know, and an Olympian, uh, you know, they know what you're gonna do before you do it. It's just, it's just in us, uh, say in us, in, in in of them, in of them people, you know, and uh, you got to respect that. So, but for me, Dillian, uh, he should have kept it long and strong, long and strong, uh, not you know. Don't have to do mid range, not mid range. Just you know, you do mid mid and short range, as and when you're ready to put a show on, to put a show on that suits us, that suits Dillian. But you know, that's a lesson he's going to learn, and I'm sure he'll. Uh, I'm glad he's getting straight back on the horse, and uh, he's going to go and do what he should have done the first time round because he's got that ten years on him. He's got to take advantage of 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 his youth and of his attributes, which is a uh, He's, uh, he could have took the street to him when he rocked him the first or the second time. You know, when I mean took the street to him, not, you know, not too crude, but, you know, rough, rough him and, and, and oh, just get behind a long, strong jab. <laughs> it would have softened, softened Alexander Povetkin up, long, strong. But, um, but you know, it was, uh, it was very, very shocking, I must say. I was, I was very, very shocked to... Uh, a simple shot, jabs, jab. I used to do that with Dillian all the time. Jab, jab, drop the left shoulder, left uppercut, and um, and if you get a bit greedy, you can get the right hand off and all. <laughs> <laughs> but um, he didn't have to do that, did he, Alexander? But it was a great shot by Alexander uh, Povetkin, and uh, it wasn't a lucky shot. It was uh, something that he's did for years and years and years and years. And in the trades, in in the in the trades that they were having, um, Dillian and Alexander, the trades that they were having, you know, I felt that Dillian felt them trades that when they was trading to the body, yeah. But I felt Dillian felt them trades. He felt that that mental, um, the mental side of it. He knew he knew what he was doing during them trades, if you know what I mean. And he switched it upstairs and uh, great great. Great jab left up a cut for sure. And uh, Dillian will uh, put it right the second time round. I'm very, very confident of that. You said you're glad that he's getting straight back on the horse, but do you think it's too soon, three months? Do you think he could have done with a bit longer before the rematch? No, I think uh, where he is in his career, uh, Dillian, the mind's, you know, his mind and uh, his character, you know. It's something you can't let that slip by, casing if you can't get him. You know what I mean? Casing if you can't get him. Uh, things change and people move in different directions. But um, I think it's going to be a dangerous fight this time round. You get me? Yeah. Dan. You know yeah, what I'm saying? It's a different, uh, it's definitely going to be a, a more of a dangerous fight for Dillian than it was the first time round, you know, because, uh, you know, then people smell what you're going to do and you got to, you got to work with your best attributes to soften them old dogs up a little bit more than he did before he goes into the kill. Good stuff. Well, I'm going to let you go because your arms probably need a rest holding the phone out for so long. <laughs> people in the park might start to think you're famous, so... <laughs> Danny, really, really good to see it. you again last. Always enjoy it, mate.